Okay, so there's been a couple of um, people wanting to see what a raw wax looks like before processing. Um, this is one car who's done for me. So she gives them to me, I'll bring them into work. And I will remove the, the interior supports. Um, this car blasts, but um, I think she's a little nervous because I can see there's still um, compaction left in those very very sharp corners there and some around the inside in between the claws I think she's nervous that she breaks the claws off so she leaves that sort of stuff to me um, you can see some light tool marking on the mm, focus camera okay so you can see some light tool marking in there Sony isn't what they used to be. Focusing sucks. Um, Alright, so what's left from here is I get in and I chop off those supports that you can see on the under rail and um, just clean up the inside of the shank a little bit. Essentially, I don't do much more than that. Okay, so the shank section I did with, um, with T splines. There you can see those tool marks. There we go see the tool mark right there. I think there might have been a support holding there or something. Um, Alright, so the shank section was done with T-splines um, and the rest was just plain old rhino. The collet was um, a stock one I keep in let's go a friend's birthday, hang on a second we'll get rid of that. So that was the model And then, of course, you move to the wax. And then that'll just be cleaned up and go to casting. Thanks for the interest.